Maptitude is a powerful mapping software package and geographic information system, or GIS. With Maptitude, you will be able to create informative maps that illustrate the geographic trends hidden in your data. This tutorial demonstrates the basic concepts of Maptitude that will give you the foundation that you need to work with the software. When you want to start a mapping project in Maptitude, you will do it in a Maptitude workspace. Maptitude compressed workspaces embed your maps, tables, layers, and analysis results directly into the workspace file, making it easy to share your projects with other Maptitude users. The Maptitude home window is where you can choose whether you want to create a new workspace or open one that you have previously used. The home window is displayed when you start Maptitude, or when you click the New Workspace button, or when you choose File, New Workspace. Choose this option to create a map that illustrates your data. See the separate video on creating a map using your data for more details. Choose this option to create a map of territories, either interactively or from a table. See the separate video on creating territory layers for more details. Choose this option to create an overview map of your country or a location within the country. Or choose this option to open one of the demographic maps included with Maptitude. See the separate video on creating overview maps for more details on these two options. If you have map files that you've saved in previous versions, you can choose this option to import the maps into a Maptitude workspace. When you open a saved workspace, all the windows that were open are restored. So, for example, I'm going to open this workspace that I recently used, and Maptitude displays the two maps that I had open in the workspace when I saved it. You'll notice that Maptitude is a typical application with menus, windows, and toolbars. You can move and resize floating toolbars, and dock them so that they're available but out of the way. There are many ways to get help while you are using Maptitude. When you hover the mouse over a button, you will see a bubble description of the tool and information on how to use it. This is the Zoom In tool, and you use it by clicking on the map or by dragging a rectangle on the map. This button toggles the legend on and off, and this button is one of the Maptitude Map Wizard buttons for creating a chart theme on a map. When a dialog box is open, you can press the F1 key or the question mark button at the top of the dialog box to display help. The help system will automatically go to the relevant topic. Contact sensitive menus appear when you right click on certain elements. For example, right-click on a label to see menu commands for labels. This menu includes commands for changing a label location, style, or display priority. Right-click elsewhere on a map for other map options. This menu includes commands for exporting an image of a map, changing the map contents or scale, printing, and more. Over here is the Display Manager. It shows you what geographic layers are in a map, whether they are visible or not, and it lets you access style and label settings. When you right-click in the Display Manager, the menu will contain commands for layer options, such as setting the working layer, opening a data view of a layer, changing its auto scale settings, and more. Every layer has data associated with it, and data views give you a tabular view of that data. Hover the mouse over a field heading to see a description of the data in that field. For example, this field contains the median household income from the five-year ACS. Click the Close button to close a window. If you're closing a map window, it will be deleted from the workspace. Maptitude will prompt you to confirm before it is completely removed. An important concept of Maptitude is the working layer. The Maptitude tools and commands that are used to create thematic maps, query features, and select or filter features all operate on one layer in a map at a time, called the working layer. The working layer is shown in this drop-down list on the standard toolbar, and with bold text in the display manager. So for example, I'll make the state layer the working layer, and then if I use the info tool, it will display information about features in this working layer. So if I click here, the info window will display the data in the state layer for New York. Choose a different working layer, 
such as five digit zip code, again either from the drop down list or by right clicking in the display manager and choosing make working layer, and then click on the map and the info window will now show data for the zip code where you clicked. To add a map to the workspace you have several options. You can choose map combine to create a map that contains some or all of the layers in several open maps. Choose map duplicate to create a map that is an exact duplicate of one of the workspace maps. Or choose map new map if you want to add a new overview map or map of your data. So for example I'll choose the create a United States map, choose US county name, enter Queens New York, and click finish to create a map of Queens. To save this map in my workspace I would click the save button or choose file save workspace. Alternatively I could choose to save workspace as if I wanted to create a new workspace and preserve my original workspace that had just the original two maps in it. A few other useful things to keep in mind when you are working with Maptitude. Many of the geographic layers that are provided with Maptitude include scores of data fields. If you want to create a color theme on the county layer in this map, you may find it difficult to find exactly the field that you are looking for. If you expand the field drop down list and type a few characters, the list will be filtered to only the fields that contain those characters. So for example if I type EARN, then I can narrow the list down to these fields. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can quickly zoom out by scrolling it towards you, or zoom in by scrolling it away from you. And you can pan the map by holding down the scroll wheel and dragging the mouse. You can cancel a process or stop a map from drawing by pressing the escape key. For example, you will notice that the street layer is auto scaled off because it is more detailed than necessary at this map scale. I'm going to demonstrate, however, that if I choose to display the streets, I can press the escape key to interrupt drawing the map at any time. Now that you have an understanding of the Maptitude basics, you are ready to try out the software. Also be sure to check out some of the other videos that give more in-depth information on many of the features that were mentioned in this video.